cool stuff. Um, there, there's a shirt that I went and picked up on a rack, on a hanger, a while back. And just to give you an idea of what we call it, um, there's a, a beautiful spirit that makes comments on my videos when she talked about high precision vision as it relates to holographic mapping the mathematical codes of the message. And so you can see one of those on a shirt that I got, and it's 100% cotton. But you see that? You see the little turtle? You see the, the vertical line, the vertical spine, the vertical column, and turtle? And then you see a double diamond. See? You, you wouldn't necessarily see something that little small, that little turtle like that when you see it on a rack, right? And then I wear that, right? It's, that's a symbol, a character map. Mapping the characters, the mathematical codes, the symbols, the meaning of the symbol, the mathematical meaning. And um, so I just watched a, uh, a part of a video that was put up on a, on a channel that I just recently subscribed to. Um, and, and so uh, I shared it with a couple other native spirits because I don't communicate with that many people anymore uh, on this phone. Just a small handful, and that's it, as it relates to the time element, right, of what I share, why I share, what I share, when I share it, and why I do that at the moment in which it occurs or appears in a mirror. Yeah, and so uh, when I think of condensers or a condensed version, like instead of having to read through a gazillion pages of holographic mathematical text, you know, like how long would it take you to go to the U.S. Library of Congress and read through all those books and process all those codes, right, in order to learn everything that was being mapped and process and learn from what all those codes mean mathematically. And so when I think of con condensing, taking a huge, incredible library of records and why we're here now, uh, Ashiana Dion did a, a really good job in terms of time and energy, sort of condensing it all down in a very simple format why we're here. And she did that, um, although the channel that this this person put the video up of when Ashaya, Ashiana, Ashiana was echoing what she was echoing, the message. So when she was communicating, I was experiencing what she was communicating, and I could validate what she was saying because she was talking about us about the Aquarian codes, Breatharian form, particularly as it related to resuscitation. You need a respirator, right? Remember I mentioned that in environmental engineering back when I was age 33, measuring the loss and gain. Remember, I'm four years of age. I'm measuring the loss and gain. of What? Breathing. Breathing cycles. Okay, the planet is dying. It's dying of oxygen. Cells love to breathe. Robots don't need a breathing tube. Yeah. And so um, so I wrote a couple of things down. I wrote, I posted a lot that's related to the video um, that she spoke to this about, well, I came in 1951, right? One, two, three, one, 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 right? And um, three spheres, key rache. So what I did down here is I took, I sort of took part from what she had echoed and wrote it down here. The aquafarian shield coating, key rache, aurora platforms, crystal form and inflow return flow oxygen transport levels to resuscitate the life force breathing tempo of the Eartha planetary host vehicle. Okay, so she did a good job of sort of providing the details and how simple that is. 
that we learn through experience. So that's what I share. I share what I experience and I share that those recordings with all of you. Why I'm here. As that relates to security teams, the aquifarian codes. So the dynamics of sound recording, record keeping management, founder races, alliance, universal crisis intervention, security access codes, teams, and the name of that channel is called Verena Kai. And the name of the title was called The Anshatea Passage 10 days ago. So I would suggest that for those that may be new to my channel and have not seen that particular video where she talked about um, why we're here. And, uh, and so I can directly relate to it because she was talking about us. The waves that came in here. Those that carry the aquifarian code. Particularly when she talked about how long ago, I know you've heard me say that till I'm Syrian blue eyes in the face, how long, 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 long time ago, this has been on the back burner. And she mentioned something about a large formation of life force, eternal life force, breathers, as a large formation of eternal life form breathers, the crystal breathers, the eternal pink crystal sulfionic kirache body, that she talked about and our ability to get it up and running. So she talked about that. That's what we're doing. Those are the security teams. That's the aquifarian code. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah.